President Obama will be hitting the road this coming week to push raising the federal minimum wage to $10.10 .10 an hour. One congressman, though, is not waiting to make his case for a minimum wage increase. There he is right there, Congressman Steve Horsford. Spent part of his house recess driving a UPS truck. Uh, Congressman Horsford is with us now. He wore that iconic brown shirt. Uh, Representative Horsford, Democrat from Nevada, always good to see you. What were you trying to prove there? What, what, what was the goal? Well, the goal really was to get a uh, on the ground perspective of what hardworking Americans do every day and to focus on the need to give Americans a raise to help. Uh, lift the wages for 30 million Americans who deserve an increase uh, in the federal wage. Uh, UPS is a great example of a company that's already doing good things. Their starting wage uh, for entry-level position is about $11, $12 an hour. Uh, the average driver makes $32 an hour with full medical benefits for both part-time and full-time workers. Uh, but for far too many Americans who are living off of minimum wage today, 56% of whom are women, uh, you can't live off of $14, uh, excuse me, $14,500 a year, uh, which is what people earn uh, at $7.25 an why hour did, why, didn't, why didn't you uh, go somewhere and, and earn seven twenty-five? Why not go to a fast food joint or someplace? I mean, the folks at UPS, you know, they're, they're you know, they, they earn a, a decent wage when you look at that wage compared to the minimum wage, the federal minimum wage. Well, part of it is to show that uh, good employers that are doing right by their okay. employees uh, uh, are the example. And when CEOs are making record profits, uh, earning salaries uh, higher than ever before, and getting bonuses, uh, you know, that that are record-breaking, it's time to give Americans a raise who are helping to create those profits uh, for those CEOs. This is what Speaker John Boehner uh, said in, in pushing back against raising the minimum wage. Take a listen. We know from uh, increases in minimum wage in the past uh, that hundreds of thousands of low-income Americans uh, have lost their job. And so the very people the president purports to help are the ones who are going to get hurt by this. When you look at African Americans and Hispanics, uh, they're the people who will never have a chance to get on the economic ladder. Uh, it's, uh, it's bad policy. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office uh, releasing a report, and you're familiar with this report, I know you are, uh, that said, in part, raising the federal minimum wage to $10.10 would lift 900,000 people out of poverty, but perhaps at a cost of half a million jobs. What's your response to the speaker? What's your response to that CBO report? Well, first, uh, it's, it's disingenuous for the speaker or anyone else to cherry pick uh, certain parts of the CBO report. What that report really focused on was the fact that 30 million Americans uh, would see their wages boosted by increasing uh, the federal minimum wage. And this is not a partisan issue. Uh, the, the federal minimum wage was increased under Republicans, uh, both uh, Republican presidents and Republican Congresses. This is about helping to grow our economy from uh, the middle out, and it starts by giving Americans a raise to $10.10 an hour. Uh, you know that, that you and your colleagues don't necessarily have the best reputation when it comes to actually getting things done in, in D.C. with regards to major substantive legislative issues. With so little happening right now, what, what, makes, what makes you think that this is something uh, that, that, that politically could happen in Washington, D.C. this year? Well, first, if we're listening to our constituents, uh, then we would do our job, which is to uh, respond to the fact that more than two-thirds of Americans support increasing the federal minimum wage, regardless of you're Democrat, Republican, Independent. This is something that everyone uh, supports. And we did this week uh, file a discharge petition with 191 members saying, Mr. Speaker, give us an opportunity to vote to give Americans a raise. And have we heard from the Speaker's office yet? Well, we will continue pushing, uh, and <laughs> when we get to that number, 218, uh, then the rules allow for the bill to come up for a vote. Congressman Steve Horsford from Nevada. Congressman, thank you. Thank you, Craig. Religion